Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. It's a beautiful day, no matter what it looks like. That's where we're coming from. A lot of chaos going on in the world, confusion and worry, but confusion adds to the illusion, right? <laughs> confusion, illusion, you ever thought about it? Confusion, illusion, where am I at? Am I in confusion mentally, physically, spiritually? Am I in the illusion? Have I figured out that um, there is an illusion? Um, the illusion causes sickness, anxiety, depression, and stress. And so if I figured it out, then I am looking at life from a different perspective. I'm looking at life from the perspective that I choose to, you know, because we have masses, we have, you know, the 70, and then we have the 12. You tell me where that comes from. I'll tell you in a few minutes. Just think about it. And the masses follow what they see. The 70 and the 60 began to, um, they began to look at what was really going on. And they began to um, conspire to research for themselves and not just take everyone else's opinion and thoughts as their own. Because you see, we have TV, we have internet, and we have um, all types of services that connect us with the world. And these services are telling us how to think. And you can only know that they're telling you how to think if you become one of the 70 or the 12, because those 70 and 12 decided that they didn't wanna be a part of the masses. Now, where are you going with this, Kim? Well, I'm going into a place where I can preserve my energy and my strength and really follow my intuition, follow my spirit, everything that people in different indoctrinations of religion have um, studied. They went to church for or synagogues for, yet there's still some that are caught up in the illusion. What is being shown to them, it goes deep, right? So let's look at um, some of the things from, I would say, a Christian perspective, and it's going to be in a scripture. And it's 12, 1 through 21 of Romans. And it says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. Um, and I like to add the goddess in there because I have a problem with um, the era of time that we've been through with the patriarchal system, um, hiding the woman behind. We need to get in a place where we're bringing the woman um, side by side with the man, they ain't flexing no muscles to say that the man is not necessary, but to understand that men have been running the world and look at what's happening now from the elusive standpoint. The man has been running the world. He's been running his house. Let's look at what's happening in the homes of our families, right? And so God cannot have children of God by itself. There has to be a woman's presence. So we're going to add God is there. And I'll take whatever conversations and craps, um, hot shots that anybody out there want to give because it's time to wake up. That's why I presented the illusion because people are stressed out because of the illusion um, of what they see every day. They see no man and woman together raising children, right? But let's go on and read this which is your spiritual worship. Um, do not be conformed to the world, which is society showing you what it wants you to think, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Be transformed. Why do you go to church? Why are you reading scriptures? When Paul said that the letter will kill, but the spirit brings life. If you're reading scriptures and the spirit is not bringing life, meaning, some actual understanding, interpretation for you to be a part of change agent seasons or changing the world from an illusion to truth. 
then what are we reading scriptures for, right? So, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. What is good and acceptable? Do you accept that what you see in society is the truth of what is going to make you free? Or don't you see, or do you see that people are stressed out, they are anxious, they are taking on more symptoms of depression and there is no alleviation from those powers that be, right? And the only alleviation that is going to come is through a person being taught how to break through the illusions of anger, bitterness, doubt, worry. Um, some are suffering because it looks like they have no money. They have not been taught how to manifest from the source, from the power of the true God of the universe, right? So let's read on Romans 12, one through 21. For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than one or he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of his faith, which is so key because when disasters and um, situations come and they're facing you, what are you going to do? Do you panic or do you go within? Have you practiced a faith that has um, allowed you to go through testing times, but you've seen some type of miracle um, show up for you? And, and so, you know, the idea of the illusion is, is that, yes, I'm the devil standing here in your face, but over here, I'm God. Which one will you choose? Which one is more real to you? You know, and which, which one being more real to you is your choice. So if you uh, choose the devil, then that means that you are choosing to see a lot of things that's happening in society. You feel like you can't change things outside of you. You haven't gotten an understanding that you are a co-creator with God, all right? And over here, if you're choosing God and you're choosing to work with your faith because you know that in hard situations and testing times, something showed up to help you in the past, you'll keep on working with that instead of getting tired on the job, right? So let's finish with Romans 12, one through 21. For as in one body, we have many members and the members do not all have the same function. So we though, many are one in body, in the body of Christ and individually members, one each of another. And what he's saying here is that we function according to the gifting. And so we make up the body. And so my purpose for coming on is to remind people that there is an illusion before Jesus came, there were people that were ruling and reigning and showing people how they should live, meaning in slavery. And then Jesus came and he said, you know, he offered salvation. A lot of people look at salvation as, you know, something religious, but salvation is freedom. And we have freedom writers that were talking about freedom, such as Malcolm X. You know, um, we have this monk that they've given um, that says that Black history is allowed to share for a month when we know if we take off the illusion, we can share the history of Blacks every day. You see, there is a need to connect with yourself to understand the power within you. So I want to read one more scripture to you. Because John 10 and 10 um, explains a lot. The thief came to seek, steal, and to destroy. Anytime you're in a situation such as Texas, you know, you, you go on and you begin to pray for people. You begin to see the light in those areas because that's the power that we have as a community of um, individuals that love and that we believe in sharing love. Sharing love is just not being in communion um, touching one another, but it's touching through the spirit. And so we begin to connect. What a thief comes in and steals, it steals and it, it destroys is, it tears down the momentum of faith that we have to connect in the spirit realm, which is what the universe is giving us from the source, 
I like to think of our power coming from the source. I like to believe it and I like to attest and tell people about it because if we tap into that source as a community, as cities and states more readily, what's going to happen is, is that illusions are going to begin to break. Moreover, when we're tapping into it and we're spreading the message of illusions versus truth, what's going to happen is someone is going to say, gosh, I, I had a dream about that or I was thinking that um, and, you know, I need to hear more about it. They may even need coaching sessions um, to help them understand the place that they are in right now concerning family um, finances or even um, work, you know, because our destinies are at hand. So the thief came to steal. The thief will throw um, a monkey wrench in situations so that people will begin to panic again, as in the pandemic is kind of, you know, calming down. But here we have um, the thief coming again. And the thief can be anxiety, worry, and stress. Keep you know, keep yourself in a place where you are practicing. There is no fear, but there is only happiness and truth. And you can do it in the midst of chaos because this is not the first time that you've experienced um, disappointment or heartache, you know. But if you let up on the optimistic um, ideas and the optimism concerning the situation, then the thief has stole um, all of your faith and your idea to overcome the situations that the world is in and even what Texas is going through. So the other part of this scripture says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Um, Jesus and the Christ in him came and he wants people to understand the power of the awakening within us. Within chaos, there's always a evolution. Um, the ability to evolve situations, not resolve them because we're not really in a place of resolving. We need evolution in so many different dynamics of our world um, that we wanna look at how Christ in us or the God within us, the goddess within in us can help us see clearly how to resolve issues as a community, as a city, as a state. And the number one reason why is because we have people that have been elected over and over again. Why did Texas have to wait to get just a few hours of power? I'm in contact with a young lady that is in my um, group, my leadership group, and um, supporting her through this and others that we've seen pictures of. Um, the po politicians got to get on their game, but while they're not on their game, we have to understand the freedom that Christ has given us, which is not a part of the illusion and politicians making promises that they're not going to keep. You got to make a promise to yourself because to thine own self be true. Okay, so you guys can email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com. Understanding the illusion, either you're a part of the fear factor or a part of the truth factor. And the truth is, is that you are seeing a lot of things that can free you from what society has been trying to get you to believe in. You guys have a wonderful day and um, I'll talk to you soon.